Here I have chosen some colors that I can work into each other. I want to create a fresh background which also brings the viewer into a little sunset mood. Happy colors that are full of life. I just used cheap kitchen sponges to paint my background. I do this because they are so easy to use when I mix the colors together. Now I just work the sponge around in small circles and work from one color to the next. It's important that there's enough paint on the canvas to work wet and wet. If you run dry along the way, so that the colors are difficult to mix, more paint is needed. Now I just work the color together so that my whole canvas is covered in the paint. While the paint is still wet, I mix the two colors together with a clean new sponge. I hardly do any pressure, I just let the sponge do all the work for me. Right now, my transitions between the colors are not neat. But I do not worry about that, I fix it in the next coat of paint. sprayed my sponge a little wet so that the paint is diluted a little bit, not too much. I do this to lay a new coat of paint on top of my bottom color so that my colors become more vibrant. It really does not require much paint and I just use the sponge that already has the red color on it and then I switch to the sponges that have been used for the other colors along the way. Now I just continue until I think all my colors have been refreshed so that they become more saturated. When you mix the colors, they can become a bit undefined. We want them to be defined so that they appear in their natural and vibrant colors. Please do not get too frustrated if you do not succeed in making smooth transitions in your very first attempt. This technique requires a little practice. You can try on an old canvas before you start with the painting itself. That way you will have the technique in your hands before you start the painting. I want some effects in my background. They do not have to be dominant and therefore I make them in the same colors with small transitions from light to dark and dark to light. You can use any stencil you have as it does not have to be flowers. That's just the theme I've chosen here because Frida loved to dress up with flowers in her hair. You can see a lot of other exciting background effects in some of my other videos. The possibilities are simply endless. A whole new world opens up for you and your art when you master these simple techniques. And if you like what you see and you would like to get started painting like me, check out my channel for other exciting videos. And remember to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on upcoming videos you can let yourself be inspired by and learn from. Please do not forget to smash that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload new videos with exciting paintings.
Now we have to project Frida onto the canvas. For that I use a small projector, which did not cost much. So do not despair that we need a projector, because they no longer cost a fortune, and therefore they are within reach financially for most people. You could also start with a used one. I started with an old overhead projector back in 2006 when I started painting, and I actually still use it. The image of Frida I found on the internet. You can either search for Frida Kahlo stencil, or you can find an image you like and edit it yourself so that you can draw it onto the canvas. I've edited this myself. I'm making videos about the editing process in future videos, so do not despair if you are now sitting and thinking that you cannot figure this out, because it's actually very easy. Once you know how to do this, you can do anything. Look at the possibilities instead of the obstacles. Right now I'm in the process of painting a shadow of Frida, the one you see here in the background. Now I paint Frida again, this time a little bit smaller. But in order not to get confused by the shadow in the background, I first paint it white. I actually clean up the background so that Frida emerges more clearly, because Frida is the one we want the viewer to focus on, not the shadow behind. I dilute my paint with a little bit of water to make it more transparent. I could have made it even thinner, but I would rather not be able to see the line from the shadow behind down through Frida's face. Now I just paint with the white color all the places where light comes through. This is where the black is not. I do not paint the whole area, as it is not necessary. But if it confuses you, then just paint the whole area, the whole silhouette, then you can more easily see where to draw your lines later on. In the second layer of the white paint, I again use a sponge to make an even and smooth layer of paint. Now it's time to find the Posca marker and draw Frida. We now have to draw after the lines making this way of painting accessible to everyone. 
Even those who cannot draw a straight line, that's one of the things I really love about this. The joy I have seen in many of my students over the years, that they too could create beautiful art and personal paintings. That's just so cool. You can do this too. So now I just draw the rest of the lines, and finally I put small crosses in the area that needs to be painted with the black paint, so that I do not get confused when I sit with my nose deeply buried in the painting in just a little while. just paint Frida. For that I just use a plain black acrylic paint. Remember to choose brushes that fit to the size of the area you're painting so that you do not get a lot of errors where you have painted outside the lines. Now I want to make some flowers in her hair. I did not draw the existing flowers when I drew Frida, as I knew I would make my own floral interpretation with a lot of different floral stencils that I have. I probably went a little bit overboard with the flowers, but you can just make a little less flowers if you want to. And you can use the stencils you already have, or you can buy the ones you really like. That's up to you. You can make it look however you like.
So here is the final result. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn many more exciting techniques like these. Bye for now.